Make money while you sleep. Three digital product ideas to turn over 10,000 a month. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths, and I'm gonna show you some ideas and ways that you can make digital products and help you to grow and sell them so you can turn over $10,000 a month and give up the day job and just focus on your passion and side hustle. So the first thing to think about when it comes to your digital product is what you're gonna create. What is that thing that you are going to do that people really need from you? What do you know? What expertise, what brilliance do you have that you can turn into a digital product? And most of the time, we focus on the things that we love. And that's great if other people want to know about that thing you love. And the more niche you can be, the more specialist you can be, the better. If you can find a way to turn something that you know and love into a digital product, and it's something that people really need, you want to think how timely you are, and is there a particular market for it? So if you are doing something and you're talking about it and people say, oh, I really want to learn about that thing. I really want to know about that thing. You know that you're onto a winner. You know that there is some resonance with it, that people have a desire a need to learn that particular skill. So look at those opportunities. Look for the gap in the market. What is your USP? It might be that you, it's your qualifications, it's your experience, it's your skill set. But it may be it's a hobby, it's something specialist that you do. I have someone who's in my membership who teaches how to make model tractors. And you might think, what? But actually, there is a small band of people across the world who want to learn how to create model tractors and he helps them. So it might be something that is slightly obscure to the rest of the world, but actually it's really niche and it works for your particular audience. So go all in on that thing. Don't be afraid of, oh, no one's gonna be interested. Test it, tweak it so you know what the interest is. Once you've built your course, maybe the, that is the foundation level, the beginner's step-by-step -step guide to doing something. And on the back of that, you could create a membership. So it's an area where it's more about the doing, the implementation and the support to help people. So that they have stage one, they're building the course, they're learning about it. Stage two is the membership. Now the great thing about memberships is that you can create additional recurring revenue. So they've, you've brought them in with the course, maybe it's a low ticket course, and then you're getting a, a monthly fee from them every single month. Let's say it's $29 a month or $69 a month or $100 a month, whatever it may be, you're creating that small amount of money from a pool of people that can be the equivalent of a salary for you. So if you're teaching people a particular skill, how to do photography or how to crochet or whatever it may be, you can offer that ongoing support, accountability and help so that they feel like they've got a community of like-minded people to get that ongoing support so they keep going, keep on track. And they will be willing to pay you to be part of that community. The third way for you to be creating money so that you can make money while you sleep is affiliate marketing. And I use this as a complementary method in addition to selling my digital courses, selling my membership, I also sell other products and services. So my blog posts, in my blog posts, I will talk about a particular piece of software, um, some kind of tech, it might be a group coaching program or somebody that really has helped and inspired me, for example, Tony Robbins. I will talk about those particular things in blog posts, in emails, and then on the back of that, if people click on that link, then I make money. And so it can give you recurring income every single month. So I'm making about, on average, $1,000 a month as a definite from um, talking about particular pieces of tech, and that comes through on um, blog posts and links from YouTube videos. 
And then if I happen to be talking about a particular coach or someone who's really helped me and I'm involved in their launch, then I could be making between five and $10,000. So it really can be very lucrative and help you build up your revenue streams by getting people to, be, to actually you're talking about their products, so it's, it's less stressful, you're not having to launch yourself, you're just talking about other people's products. If you then happen to get other people to be talking about your products, then you're, again, you could be giving them 40, 50% of revenue, and you are then building your audience and they're doing the work for you by doing the talking for you and the recommending. So it really can work both ways, and it is a really powerful tool to generate additional revenue into your business. I hope you found these three ideas really helpful. I'd love to know what works best for you. Is it courses? Is it memberships? Is it affiliate marketing? Please drop me a note in the comments. I'd love to hear. And if you like this video, I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build and grow your online business. Please click the link below to subscribe and hit the bell. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye 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 for now.